Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. I am here today to give you guys a bit of an update. Uh, don't worry, nothing bad is happening, nothing serious is going on, nothing like that. I just noticed that it's been a while since I actually gave you guys an update. I um, haven't done Slim Kirby Central since uh, December of last year, and there's just been a lot of stuff going on. My last update video was about the uh, computer repair stuff that I had to endure during the month of Jan January and the early part of February. Uh, so yeah, it had been a while and I figured, you know what, maybe I should uh, let my fellow Star Warriors know what's exactly going on and what are some things they can expect to come in the coming weeks and months, and that's exactly uh, what I'm here to discuss. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. I'll try to actually put some music in the background. This won't be an official Slim Kirby Central video. Like, I'm not going to designate everything by sections like I normally do. You could probably still designate it by sections, but I just kind of want to just get through everything. I'm not going to worry about all that extra editing. I'm just going to make this just a straight up update video and I'll still try to fe feature some music as well. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is Slim Kirby Central because yeah, it has been a while. I intended that to be a monthly updated thing. Uh, but to be fair, in the last month of December, because that was like the first full year, of Slim Kirby Central actually being a thing, I kind of discussed some alternatives to uh, how I did that because it did get kind of uh, tedious to do that every single month. And especially because I got burnt out so hard on doing like update videos. So um, I think what I'm going to start doing for the future is I'm not going to be doing a Slim Kirby Central video every single month. I'm probably going to do it like I used to and make one like every single season. So like uh, if I start in April, for example, I can do one in April, uh, wait three months, uh, then I do one in July, wait three months, then I do one in October, wait three months, and then I do one in January. Although I would probably put that one in December because there'd be like the anniversary, or not anniversary, the uh, project of the year video I'd want to promote and that stuff. But still, I can I can definitely rearrange things as we go along. There doesn't have to be any strict way of doing things, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to start doing that. I'll try to make like little mini updates and I can put them on my website still. Kind of what I initially intended for the Slim Kirby Central series to be like. And then maybe we can just uh, go down that road. Again, with all the stuff going on uh, during the first part of this year, it's been really, really difficult to uh, make updates because I've either been like unable to make updates or I've just been, whenever I got my computer back, I immediately started working like really hard on all my videos and all my projects, so I wanted to get caught back up with all those. Uh, so yeah, I haven't really had the time to make any update videos. And even right now, I'm actually uh, getting ready to... Uh, make even more videos so I have enough content for when I have my family vacation coming up. But I'll talk about that soon. Uh, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to be doing with uh, Slim Kirby Central now. I'm probably going to make it a uh, every three month thing or every season thing. That's kind of the way it used to be on the channel and I think it worked pretty well. Uh, not that Slim Kirby Central didn't work out well, it's just I got really, really burnt out on that. And there were some months where I felt like I was really trying to come up with stuff to talk about for the video. So this is probably going to be the best way to do things. So uh, that's basically what I want to say. I will have a Slim Kirby Central for the month of April. I'll make sure I even get working on that way in advance, especially since I'm going to have that trip I was talking about. Uh, maybe on the uh, car ride home, I can actually start working on that on my laptop or something. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, kind of what I'm thinking there. Uh, so yeah, about this upcoming trip, uh, as usual, it's something I do every single year, so it should be no surprise. Uh, every year, my family and I, we go to Orlando, Florida to my mom's timeshare. We spend the week there, we meet up with friends and family that are in the area, and we just have a nice week of relaxation. That's coming up very, very soon. Uh, I will leave, I believe, on March 31st, and I won't get back until, um, I want to say... April 9th? Either April 9th or April 8th. I don't remember. It's the that weekend is when I get back. And um, because of that, naturally, you can rightfully assume that I will be unable to stream during that time. So I will not be streaming. But, as usual, all of my YouTube uploads will continue. Uh, that's why I'm working hard in advance to get all the uploads ready. So for that entire week, 
uh, things are taken care of. In fact, with the way things are going, it looks like during that week I'll be working on Super Paper Mario Extras anyway, so uh, it'll be not really a very progressive week, but still, there will be content, and uh, it should still be some good content too, so uh, I'm not going to try to downplay the content in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be happening, and uh, YouTube will still be going on. But all of my other mediums, there probably won't be any website updates, there won't be any streaming, of course, and just, uh, I'll generally just be harder to reach during those times. So just, uh, want you guys to be made aware of that, because that is coming up very, very soon. I'm not going to post any additional videos talking about that, I'm kind of hoping that this video will be the notice that I will be going on that vacation soon. Uh, so with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and start moving on to YouTube stuff. And honestly, I don't even know where to start just because I've been doing so much on YouTube. Like, I've been, like, living and breathing YouTube these last few weeks uh, just with how much I've been doing, how much recording I've been doing, how much editing I've been doing. Uh, it's been a big part of my life, like, for the last two weeks. And honestly, I'm actually kind of glad that it has been. It was, like, really, really frustrating to not have my computer and not be able to work on any of that stuff uh, for that two to three weeks I didn't have a computer. And even during those weeks before when I was sick, so it's been really, really good getting back to the grind. It's a good grind, I enjoy the grind, but my god, it does take a lot of work, but you know, I also kind of like that work too. Uh, so as far as uh, current projects, uh, I did finish up Kirby's Superstar Ultra not too long ago, also finished up WarioWare as well. I have replaced them with uh, Mega Man 8 and the Master Quest Dungeons for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And um, those are going pretty well as well, I think. Uh, Mega Man 8 should be ending very soon. Uh, there's only seven pro uh, videos in total for that project, and uh, I already have the next project following Mega Man 8 picked out, so that'll begin pretty much once Mega Man 8 ends, I'll start that project. I think I'm going to estimate that the new project will probably start around the 21st of March. Uh, so that's probably when you can expect that project to go up. I'm really looking forward to that project too, because I've recorded the first few sessions of that game, and uh, it's been really, really fun. Like, I see a huge potential for uh, jokes and running jokes to actually happen in that project, so it should be a lot of fun to do that one. So yeah, I'm hoping that'll be very good for you guys. Uh, Ocarina of Time 3D, uh, that's been going very well. Um, I know what I'm going to be doing after uh, Master Quest, but... Um, uh, that's probably going to be a while before I get to that point, because even though I'm only doing the dungeons for Ocarina of Time, like the Master Quest dungeons, um, they're still a big part of the game, and when we get to like the Adult Link dungeons, those will take a lot of time. Like I've already posted like the first two videos, and I got through um, all of the first dungeon in the first video, and I got through most of the second dungeon in the second video, but... They'll definitely get longer from there, for sure, so even though it seems like, oh, this will only take like 10 videos, it's probably going to take closer to 20, honestly, so uh, we'll see what happens with that. Again, it's still pretty early. Uh, there is a lot of stuff that is going to be cut out because I'm only showing the dungeons. I'm not showing any of the in-between story stuff. I'm not showing all the weird side quest stuff. I'm literally just showing the dungeons, uh, but it will still be a pretty lengthy project, and I'm only going to be uploading that on the weekends, so... Uh, there's not going to be a new weekend project for a few months, I take. So, uh, yeah, get used to seeing Ocarina of Time. I know that I covered it not too long ago on my channel, but uh, it was a fun project. I really enjoyed it, and I think that the Master Quest dungeons are also very interesting in their own right. Uh, they're very fun to talk about, and I think Zelda hype is pretty strong right now with uh, Breath of the Wild uh, recently coming out as well. So, you know, th there will definitely be a lot of stuff to talk about in those videos, too. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. I don't want to give too much away as far as future projects are concerned. Uh, mainly, I'm just kind of concerned with finishing up Super Paper Mario. Uh, the main part of the project should end probably around the last month, or, or the last month, the last week of March. Uh, probably around that time, maybe the week before then. Uh, we'll just have to see how the uh, videos come out and uh, how many videos there will be of that project. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, finishing up the main part of that game. I've already started working on the extra videos for the ga uh, that game as well, so everything is about taken care of. That beast is almost conquered, uh, so to speak, so I'm really happy about that. It's been a lot of fun working on Super Paper Mario, but I'm also looking forward to starting some other big projects too. 
Uh, in fact, all those big projects that I was kind of talking about working on this year at the uh, last video of 2016, um, all those projects, like, I'm still down for trying to do them, but my god, like, I almost have, like, the first four months of my YouTube channel uh, for this year already figured out in terms of what's going up and what we'll be watching on the channel. And I haven't started any of those four projects yet, so it's probably going to be a case where it's just like back to back to back with those projects. Like I start one big project, finish it, then start the next one. I'll still try to have like a little break after Super Paper Mario because it has been going on for so long. Uh, but after that, I will probably uh, consider just kind of uh, knocking them out one at a time uh, once I'm finished with that little short break. Uh, so yeah, I would still like to do all those projects because uh, I think they'll be very fun. Uh, they're projects I'm really looking forward to. Some of them, like again, I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time. And I've kind of had just on the back burner, but just didn't have the right time to bring them out. And that, that time quickly approaching, it's like I want to get them out there. I want to get these projects started. But there's a lot of other stuff i got to do too. And I just got to make sure that I'm 100% ready for them when they actually come out. Because I do, I do not want to get burnt out with one as soon as I start it. And then have to postpone it because I'm not feeling it. I just do not want to uh, get into that habit with any of my projects, especially after the uh, nightmare that the Terraria Let's Play ended up being, where I only uploaded like two videos, and I'm like, you know what, I don't want to do this. Uh, I've been trying to avoid that with all of my projects since that point. Uh, so yeah, that's um, pretty much it for YouTube. I'll also try to keep up with the uh, Pokemon Go log videos, the 1UP box unboxing videos. I'd also like to put out more stream content on my channel as well, on my YouTube channel, uh, just to kind of showcase that off, maybe give some little extra promotion to my Twitch channel, which I will be talking about next, by the way. So yeah, those are things that can potentially happen as well. Uh, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to Twitch. Uh, I did get back into Twitch streaming again. It's nice to be back. Uh, I had a huge break from Twitch. I kind of stopped, I think, in November for a while. Then I did one stream in December, which was the name that tune I did. And then I had the sickness. Then I had all of the uh, computer issues. And I couldn't actually stream again until, like, uh, middle February. So, uh... There was a huge, huge hiatus from my Twitch channel, but it is good to be back. Unfortunately, though, I'm having some issues with Twitch right now. Um, hopefully, this gets solved by the time this video goes up, but I actually cannot log into my Twitch account right now uh, for some reason. I keep trying to log in. I have the right information, the right password, the right everything, uh, but it says that it's incorrect, and then when I keep asking for an email to reset my password, I never get the email. Like, it says it sends the email to me, but, like, I check my inbox, I check my spam folder, uh, the email is not in there, and Twitch support is not responding to me. Like, I've sent so many support tickets, and they're just not sending me anything, and, uh, it's getting really frustrating, honestly. It's getting really, really freaking frustrating, and I want to figure this out, because I really wanted to stream this past weekend, but I was unable to, and it's just really really dumb really really frustrating i really hope that they fix this because i do not want to uh get held up on streaming seriously because i had so much fun coming back and here i am unable to stream again so uh twitch uh get your crap together seriously um currently on twitch though i have been working on a blind run of digimon world one it was a game I purchased last year, finally. It's a game I've never owned until very recently. A game I always wanted to get my hands on, but never could find it anywhere. And I was finally able to get it, and after streaming Digimon World 2 last year, which was a lot of fun, I wanted to stream Digimon World 1, and that's what I've basically been doing. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, the game is really difficult, though, and I'm still trying to get used to all the mechanics and stuff. A big shout-out to my uh, good friend Digital Blizz, who's... Uh, frequent viewer of my streams and he's been really trying to help me out getting through the game because he knows a lot about it uh, so huge shout out to him I guess that's kind of my shout out of the month you could say uh, so yeah thank you a lot for that uh, but yeah it's been fun going through that game uh, I try to stream that every weekend but uh, couldn't stream it this last weekend because I couldn't even get on Twitch for some reason uh, so hopefully I can continue that and as far as my like weekday streams I've just been trying to do random assortments of things. I um, did the Kirby Superstar Ultra Helper to Hero videos uh, during the weekdays. 
I did a recent run through of the first four levels of Donkey Kong 64 uh, to see how fast I can get through the levels. Uh, there's some randomizers I want to try out. I want to do another Link to the Past randomizer stream. Uh, there's a Super Metroid randomizer that looks interesting. Uh, but I've, even, I've even thought about doing some Fire Emblem randomizers as well because uh, I've been in such a Fire Emblem mood lately because of Fire Emblem Heroes and all the Fire Emblem content that's coming out very soon. Uh, so maybe I could do some randomizers of some of those games as well. So uh, pretty much the sky is the limit when it comes to my weekday streams. I kind of want to just do a bunch of different stuff. I don't really want to stick to like straight up projects of me playing through like a game like once like once per week and then continuing that session the next week because it's just too segmented. Sometimes there's games I want to keep playing through. It's already kind of a chore with Digimon World 1 because I want to keep playing more of the game but uh, I have to keep waiting until the next stream session to play, so I don't want to get too much in the habit of that. I want to be able to keep on playing the games that I love, and uh, that's pretty much my thoughts on that. Uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully the Twitch problems get fixed and I can continue streaming. Uh, I do apologize for the lack of streams uh, these this weekend, but again, I couldn't do anything about it, so uh, uh, hopefully I can get that solved, and if I can't, I'll probably have to make another update about getting a new Twitch account or doing something else, I don't know. I have really no idea. But surely someone will help me at some point. Surely. Uh, so f as far as some other things, uh, on my website I have been working on a Simpsons retrospective. I think I talked about this a little bit in my last uh, few updates and also during the last Slim Kirby Central update. Uh, basically I'm just kind of doing my own little write-ups and reviews of Simpsons episodes, going through the series from the very beginning. Uh, I don't plan to make it to the very end because my god there are over 600 episodes, but uh, you know I'm definitely starting from the beginning to see how far I can get. I at least want to try to make it through the golden age of The Simpsons where uh, the series was really good and the, all the episodes that people really remember and really love. I at least want to get through all of those episodes and talk about them. And, uh, you know, maybe I can start making it into the newer stuff, maybe, a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I plan to keep going on order from the very beginning to the very end or anything. Maybe I could even skip around at some point, too. I don't really know, but again, uh, that's just kind of something we'll have to see as we uh, go through that. I'm not really sure what I'm in the mood for. Uh, but I've been trying to post an issue of that every week, uh, and it's been going pretty good. I've really enjoyed watching these episodes and then talking about them. It's been a lot of fun, so if you're a Simpsons fan, uh, definitely check those out. I'll try to have a link in the video description, and... Uh, they're always fun to make. I always have a good time talking to my good friends Pixel Plume and Malkinor Beck about the episodes because uh, they're also huge Simpsons fans and uh, we just have a good time whenever like, I make the next episode. I post it in our little group chat and then we just kind of talk about the review and the episode in general. It's a lot of fun. So definitely check that out. Uh, as far as Puddle Plains is concerned, uh, once again we're kind of in a... I, I don't want to call it a rut because we're definitely around. We definitely want to make content. We just haven't really gotten around to doing it yet. Uh, we finished up the Sonic Adventure DX playthrough. Uh, thank you, Snack Attack 8, for taking initiative of that and finishing that up. And then it was a really fun project, really enjoyable. I will be playing through that game later this year on my channel. But if you want to check out kind of a... Uh, I don't want to say less professional, but like... <laughs> It, it, it was definitely a silly playthrough. There was like a lot of joking around. It, it's really a much different approach to how I would normally do a project, I guess you could say. That'd be the best way of saying it. And there are a lot of really, really funny things that happen during that playthrough. A lot of funny jokes, a lot of funny memes and stuff. So uh, definitely check it out at your own discretion, though. It's definitely not played for serious professionalism or anything, but it's definitely a really fun playthrough. And there's also a lot of very uh, mature-rated jokes and stuff like that. There's a lot of strong language, too, so just be warned of that. But yeah, it was fun doing that. Uh, there's another project that I worked on with Illu Weaver that we're trying to get started as well, so that can be up very, very soon. Uh, there's still some MAGFest 2017 videos that still need to go up, so there is stuff we can do for the Puddles channel. Uh, they have just got to kind of find some time to sit down and get that locked and loaded so we can continue with that. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything I think I want to discuss in this video. Um, yeah, anything else I want to talk about I'll try to get to when I do the next Slim Kirby Central. The, the first Slim Kirby Central video of 2017. 
Uh, so yeah, expect that sometime in April. Uh, probably the middle of April, because again, central, the middle, the middle of the month. That's kind of the what I try to go to, go for with these updates. Uh, so yeah, sometime in the middle of April, I'll try to get that uh, next Slim Kirby Central video up. I'll have a lot to discuss there, uh, especially the upcoming uh, 10th year anniversary of my channel. It's a milestone I'm really looking forward to experiencing with you guys, seriously, so uh, that should be a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Later, folks.